hey yeah i've got yet another master lock dial combination lock here and this one is a glow one even in the packet they've cut it away so that when you turn it it glows up and people think wow and they buy it Okay, I tried to shim it. I couldn't shim it. I bent my shim. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to decode this. And we're going to use the same method that we've used in the last couple of videos. Okay, so this is the type of lock that if we pull up on the shackle, it gets stuck in gates. You can see here that it's getting stuck. If I pull up on the shackle, that's sort of like just before 39 to just before zero. Put the shackle down, turn it a bit, put tension on the shackle again, turn it and it clicks into another one with play. Doesn't want to get out of there. That's between two and three. And there's another one here. Oh, now this one has a massive amount of play between five and seven. Those other ones had like maybe one or just over one but this is nearly two or might even be two numbers of play it's a mass amount of play so that tells me straight away that's our third number simple as that i can test the other numbers but i'll only find that they're only little ones like a maximum of one number of play so i'm happy that six is the third number our last number Okay, so now we know our third number, we're going to try and find our uh, first number. So I'm going to turn this several times to the right. I'm going to lift up with my, perhaps my finger, try and find it where it wants to get stuck. Oh, it sort of want to get stuck around somewhere there. If it's not getting stuck, I'd raise my finger more. Sort of stopped at about 30. And if it doesn't get if it gets stuck in more than one place, then I'm tensioning it too much, so I just release it. But no, this time it only stopped at 30. Do it again. Stopped in the same place, about 30, just to make sure. Okay, it keeps on wanting to stop at about 29 and a half, so I'm going to add 5 onto that. So let's call it 30. 30 plus 5, 35. Okay, and note that if I couldn't find that stuck number using this method, just like in the last video, I can use the other method where um, I would be, I'll just get close to it, where when I'm pulling up on the shackle, it's got play, and I release tension on the shackle just a little bit, but still keep tension, just enough for it to turn again a little bit, and then I tension it up again hard, and turn it to the next click and I do the same least tension do a little bit okay tensioning up hard and then it gets stuck it sort of clicked into 30 it doesn't want to come out so that's the other way to find this the sticky number that I add 5 to so now I've got peace of mind that it really is 30 but I didn't have to double check like this usually if one method doesn't work you can try the other one to find the stuck number. So that's our first number. First number 35, last number 6. So with the information we turn it several times to the right and that's how we open combination locks. We turn it several times to the right, stop at our first number 35, then one full turn in the opposite direction to 35 again and we're going to go to our second number but we don't know what it is. If we knew what it is, we'd go to our second number and then we'd turn it the other way back to our last number. We don't know what it is, but I'm going to try every two numbers from here on because I know that the tolerance of this lock means that I can try every second number. I don't have to try every single number and I'll still get it open. So let's go to 37, 40, 7 and then back to 6. doesn't open. If I overshoot the mark I, for the third number, I can always turn it back to six. For the last number, you can do this. You can get away with that. 
I've done a previous video showing why this works, but for this video, just know if you overshoot the mark for the last number, you can come back to six and you haven't ruined anything, you don't have to start again. Okay, so where was I up to? I did, I tried 37. I don't need to start again, I can just bump the second wheel over to 39 and see if it will open on six. No. Nope. Two more, which would be one. And, oh, I've shot the mark. Six. Two. Mm, I have a shot in the mark. I wanted to try three, not four. Because it's not the last number, what I'll do is I need to reset it and quickly start again. So, because I wanted three, didn't I? So I go to our first number, 35, one for revolution to 35, and I wanted to try three, didn't I? And then back to six. No, nope. so I'm going to bump it along to five is the next one. Six, no, nope. and that five, seven. Now because I've gone past six, I just need to go back this much to get to my last number. No, nope, not seven, let's try nine, and then to six. Eleven. Six. Thirteen. Six. Fifteen. Six. Seventeen. Six. Nineteen. Six. Twenty-one. Six. 23, 6, and it opens. So that was about 35, 23, 6, wasn't it? 34, 24, 6. Well, we were close enough. I mean, because of the tolerance of this lock, so if I turn it several times to the right and go to 35, then one full turn the other way to 35, but keep on going to 23 we said, didn't we, that, that we found, and then back to 6, and the lock opens, thanks.